There's been a bus. Excuse me. There's been a bus parked outside of NBC today. It's a red, white, and blue bus, all colors, and it says, I'm the greatest. Now, I'm going to make my little speech first, and you do as you please about it. Um, this is uh, all very colorful and very funny and everything. I, I'm not happy unless I tell you my own impression. He is a very nice young man, a well-mannered young man, and I found him to be quietly very humble. Don't you yes, think so? Absolutely. Now, he insists on doing this wild act, so we'll go along with it. But I, but I, I don't like to be part of an act because I like the guy to be real. He happens to talk this way uh, when he's on in front of an audience, but he can talk very quiet and sensibly. I'd like you to meet, perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, the next world's champion of the Lexington YMCA. <laughs> a grand young man. I hope the next champion of the United States. Why not? Cassius Clay. Well, he has been lifting weights. Yeah, this is Miss Miller. Sit down. Oh, this, uh, excuse me, I'm so rude. This is Miss Miller. Yes, ma'am. You know Miss Miller, don't you? You ever hear of her? Well, she's a lovely lady. Anyhow. Man, I was surprised to learn, you know, because I've gone along with the, with the, the cliché, you know, that, uh, that you're all a product of uh, poetry and everything, but I didn't know that you were United States Olympic boxing champ, 1959 and 1960. Oh, not United States Olympic champion, world Olympic champion. I had to... Oh, now you've gone too far. Before, <laughs> honestly, you were. I had to beat everybody in the United States to qualify for the... Uh, the whole... Are you the world? The world. Gold medal winner. Right. Well, well now, how about that? <laughs> 1959 and 1960 National Golden Gloves Championship. 1959 and 1960 National AAL Champ. AAU. <laughs> right. I didn't know you were with the union. Listen, tell me, uh, Cassius, uh, how many fights you had? Oh, about 180 amateur fights. False three. That was my first three, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever been knocked out? Have you ever been knocked out? I never dreamed of being knocked out. <laughs> you really think you you feel confident that there's, you'll? There's not a man in the world to beat me. I'm as pretty as Liberace, and he's not. <laughs> You, you, you know, you are a very good-looking boy. What, what, what did you, where'd you start boxing? Why did you start I boxing? I started boxing in Louisville, Kentucky. Why? Two years ago. Tell me, the sweet, the nice little Twelve years ago, me. someone stole my bicycle. That, that's right. And, and I, I said that if I ever catch the guy, I'm going to beat him up, but I never did catch you him. You never did? No, but... And you feel that you, uh, you possibly could, could, uh, to I'm whip. getting ready to fight the roughest and the toughest man in the world. Sonny Liston. Right. And you feel you have a chance? If he dreamed he beat me, he would apologize. Yes. <laughs> you, you really feel that strongly about it. That's you. right. Sonny Liston would rather take off his sport coat, soak it in gasoline, and run through hell before he fight me. <laughs> I know she's backing away all the time. I feel it. After I retire from the ring, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, be a great singer. I'm, I'm, getting re I'm getting ready to cut a record with Columbia now. Oh. I saw the album yeah. cover. Yeah. He's wearing one of my album suits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have an album. It's the right color, too, I think, don't you? Um, yeah, I heard the show was in Technicolor. So yeah. Uh, Listen, um, you, you really think you're going to win this fight? And that'll be fun. Now, tell me, how much money, uh, all told, will you make out of this fight? Well, I don't Whether well, you win or lose. Well, you I get don't. the same if you win or lose? It's, it's a percentage deal, you know, but... Uh, oh, you uh, figured it out in your head, they, out there. They figure probably they might draw a few people. Maybe they might have a $15 million gate that night. $15 million. How much of that would you get? Mm, about three. Ain't that a shame? Three million. <laughs> well, three oh, million. Now, how much, uh, how much is taxable? About two million five hundred thousand. Sure. <laughs> how much do your backers and those guys get? Oh, we have a 50-50 contract, but, uh... You want to get 250000 Sir? You'll get about 250000 if they get half of what's left? Or would you rather not discuss it? Or are you... Or are you discuss it? Hey, Cassie, what? Cassius, if you lose the fight, you can cry all the way to the bank with me. Okay? Yeah. All right? <laughs> You've done pretty well. <laughs> How you going to win? But I never think of losing. Don't that's, even talk about it. That's not... Do, are you... Are, do you scare? No. Scared my prediction might not come off. I predict around eight to prove I'm great. If he keeps talking jive, he'll fall in five. <laughs>
15 times I want I have something else I want you in the world to know. Fifth, out of my 22 professional fights, won them all, of course, knocked out 18. 15 of those 18, I told the clown the exact round he was going down. <laughs> my last fight in London, England, I told the heavyweight champion of the British Empire, I said, Henry Cooper, this is no jive. The fight will end in five. And that night before a crowd of 55,000 people, yeah. Cleopatra was at ringside. Was she? Everybody was Richard there. and Liz. And he went in five. He won in less than that. You're talking about Burton, aren't you? <laughs> you know, uh, Sybil Burton just said in the paper the other day that she's not going to give up Richard. So Liz is going to have to get it from Hertz or rent it. Whatever it is. Anyhow, well, boy, I, I'm, I'm glad you're so confident. It's really good. I'm a pitch of confidence. I'm the greatest thing. I'm the resurrect of the fight game. You are. If it wasn't for me, the whole thing would be dead. I guess that's true, yeah. Fighters don't come on shows like you are. A few more weeks, I'll be on uh, probably the Jerry Lewis show. and uh, I think not. I'm a... <laughs> Well, I don't have it in rhyme, but I predict not. You, you haven't read the latest, have you? Well, uh, uh, I'll make it just in time. Huh? I'll make it just well, well, in time. Well, I hope you do. I, I hope that Jerry gets reprieved. I hope that something works out there. Uh, listen, uh, why don't you play for him? Uh, you'd, you'd rather play than fight with him, wouldn't you? Oh, that's uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you play and let, let Cassius... Because if you don't, if you can't fight, you know, if it doesn't work out, you can always get a job with Burma yeah. Shave, I think, the way with his rhyming. Would, Would you, you like you? me to play? Yeah, that would well, be a beautiful combination. All, All right. right. Cassius All right. Uh, Show him that ring you might hit him with, Lee. Uh, <laughs> Right. Uh, Say, uh, you may have a diamond navel before the night's over, Cash. Uh, move that way a little bit. You're what? standing in front of my candle. Out. <laughs> uh, well, you you recite something, and I'll make up the music. Too. Uh, for a change, do the one about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is the legend of Cassius Clay, the most beautiful fighter in the world today. He talks a great deal and brags indeedy of a muscular punch that's incredibly speedy. The mystic world was dull and weary. With a champ like Liston, things had to be dreary. Then someone with color, someone with dash, brought fight fans a running with cash. This brash young boxer is something to see, and the heavyweight championship is his destiny. This kid fights great. He's got speed and endurance. But if you sign to fight him, increase your insurance. <laughs> this kid's got a left. This kid's got a right. And if he hits you once, you're asleep for the night. And as you lie on the floor while the ref counts ten, you pray that you won't have to fight me again. For I'm the man this form is about, the next champ of the world, there isn't a doubt. Here I predict, and I know the score, I'll be champ of the world in 64. If Cassius says a mosquito could pull a plow, don't ask how, hitch him up. They got to hear this one. Okay. They, they, they must hear this one. Okay. They must. All right. I want to start so you scratch your head. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you out, out there who won't be able to see the Clay Liston fight, here is the eighth round exactly as it will happen. Ah, he did it. <laughs> Clay comes out to meet Liston, and Liston starts to retreat. If Liston goes back an inch farther, he'll end up in a ringside seat. Clay swings with the left, Clay swings with the right. Look at young Cassius carry the fight. Liston keeps backing, but there's not enough room. It's a matter of time. There, Clay lowers the boom. Now Clay lands with the right. What a beautiful swing. And the punch raises the bear clear out of the ring. Liston is still rising, and the ref wears a frown. For he can't start counting till Sonny comes down. And disappears from view. The crowd is getting frantic, but our radar stations have picked him up. He's somewhere over the Atlantic. Who would have thought 
when they came to the fight that they'd witnessed the launching of a human satellite. <laughs> yes, the crowd did not dream when they laid down their money that they would see a total eclipse of the sun. <laughs> Yeah, I got it.